Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a fun little chatty video to do with you guys. I am going to do a wand comparison video. So what I mean by a wand comparison video is that I have three elder wands, all from different sources. One's from Noble Collection, two are from subscription boxes, and I just thought I would do a little comparison for you guys and to see what the main differences are and if there are many differences at all, maybe. So we're going to start with the obvious difference in one of these ones, which is this one. This one I actually got from a Gobstone Alley box. It's obviously the odd one out for two reasons. The first reason is the fact that it looks like a completely different colour and the second reason is because it doesn't have this little inscription thing which is what the other two have. So yeah that's the main differences between them. Another main difference between specifically the Gobstone Alley wand, you can see straight away uh, that the Gobstone Alley box wand is a lot smaller than the Noble Collection one, but also this wand which I got from a Geek Gear Wizardry box recently, just a little bit longer than the Gobstone Alley. Two major differences between the subscription box ones and the main ones. But you know, you can forgive the subscription boxes for having the ones a bit smaller than the original one, because if they were to make it as long as the actual Noble Collection wand, it wouldn't have actually fit in the boxes. Um, so yeah, there's that. Back to the Gobstone Alley wand, um, it's very sharp and whereas the Noble Collection wand is a lot more rounded off and feels a lot softer. The little knobby bits going down the wand also um, a lot more defined than the ones on the Elder wand. The little holes are a lot more defined than the ones on the Elder wand. My Gobstone Alley wand actually kind of looks really painted, like you could tell it is painted but you know it's from a subscription box what what are you going to do in terms of actually holding it it doesn't actually feel that much lighter than the elder wand but it does feel a lot more sturdy like i feel like this would a wand this length would suit me more than a wand of this length i don't know it just feels the elder wand is meant to be the longest wand in the collection you know uh, it is the elder wand it's the most powerful wand but it's a bit too long for me personally i do actually kind of like the color of this one even though it's not actually the elder wand the proper colors of the elder wand it's actually a really nice colour and I kind of like it as its own standalone wand not actually as a elder wand replica. Another thing I like about this wand is the tip. The tip is nice and rounded. Not much like the Noble Collection one. You know normally the Noble Collection ones are very nice and rounded at the tip but this one not quite so much but it's not as bad as the Geek Gear wand. <laughs> the Geek Gear wand's tip it almost looks as if they made the wand the normal length and kind of just like chopped the end off because it was too long like it does actually look like that but yeah I guess that's the only major pro with the Gobstarly one than the Geek Gear one. Moving on to the Geek Gear wand as you can see in colour it's a lot more similar to the original Noble Collection one than the Gobstarly wand was. It's also a lot darker and again the little knobby bits are more defined and the holes are more defined. They're also closer together but you can forgive that with the fact that it's actually shorter and again they must have made it shorter so that it could fit in the box. So here's a comparison of them together so yes as you can see it's quite a bit shorter. It also has this little inscription thing, this rune bit. Like I said, the Gobstone box doesn't have. It's not as well done as a Noble Collection one, but it's still really nicely done, I think. A slightly different colour to the Noble Collection one, but the runes are basically the same on it. The bottom end of the wand, what I said about the uh, Gobstone Alley box with being a, having a really sharp bottom, the Geek Gear one actually has a nice rounded one, not quite as a soft roundness as the Noble Collection one, and the tip, like I said before, has a really sharp tip as if they had to chop off the end. But this has actually been one of my favourite ones to have in videos lately. Because yeah, like I said, I do kind of prefer the smaller ones. But yeah, I do like it. I, I like the darker colour of it. Obviously it's not going to be as good as the actual Noble Collection one. You know, it's definitely better than the Gobstone Alley one, you can admit. But yeah, if we were to compare these two together, as I did say before, I would prefer the Geek Gear one because it's the closest in colour and it has the runes bit on it. But to hold, they both kind of feel the same. You know, 
they're the same weight they're both good quality you know they're not gonna break very easily just like the noble collection one and in fact the noble collection one i'm always worried about the tip of this because i feel like it's so thin that it could easily snap whereas these do feel a lot more sturdy at the top which gives me more confidence in using these in videos you know swishing around or you know taking them out and about or things like that they do have some good points of having cheaper i suppose replicas of the noble collection wand but yeah there you go, that is my comparison of all three of my elder ones that I now own. Let me know down in the comments what your favourite replica is, what do you think of these ones, because I know a lot of you guys get Gobstone Alley and or Geek Gear. So yeah, let me know what you think of the ones themselves. I do think this would be a nice little video for some of you guys that maybe are subscribed to these boxes that have these ones and don't have the Noble Collection one to see, like, in comparison, like, could you actually get away with saying it is like the Noble Collection one? Yeah, the Geek Gear one is the most similar, as I said and if you saw it on its own and you didn't own a Noble Collection one you can almost say that this is good enough you know this is this is just as good um, but yeah let me know what you guys thought in the video um, I hope you don't mind this kind of nice chatty laid back video for today but I am currently moving house when this video is being uploaded and also as this video is being uploaded this shelf is no longer here and so I'm filming a couple of videos in advance so I can still have at least one video up every week so yes I hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you did leave your own thoughts down in the comments below if you're new to my channel and you haven't already then please don't forget to subscribe I make videos I'm trying to at the moment every single week so please don't forget to subscribe to join my little magical corner thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time